Stanford University. Is either party really up to the challenges of the future? Why should anyone feel that the Democrats or Republicans are the solution? Why not, you see where this is going, a pops on both of you, good riddance. Do we need a third party? Or do we need, perhaps more ambitiously and dramatically, actually to change our system of governance? I don't think we need a third party. I think we need a second party. I think we need one other party that's willing to come to the table and work. We're not dealing with the Republican Party of only a few years ago. If we had a, the same number of people in the Republican Party today that was willing to work with Barack Obama, that was in the Democratic Party that was willing to work for George Bush, even after Florida and all the contentiousness, you know what? We'd get a hell of a lot done. We cannot continue down this path of simply saying no, 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 as our problems get worse, then try to blame it all on somebody else as if you have no role and responsibility in how the hell we got there. The system is not supposed to be anything but gridlock unless you actually provide leadership aimed at providing compromise. And that means you've got to have an entitlement reform, not simply excoriate the advocates of entitlement reform. It means you've got to have a proposal for immigration reform, not merely promise that you're going to keep up, come up with one. And you've got to get your hands dirty. But yeah, the system does need some work. But it does not need whole scale replacement. It needs the work of strong and patient leadership that says, I'm going to be an adult and I'm not going to get everything I want and I'm going to work across party lines and I'm going to actually get my hands dirty at it. Thank you. Thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.